throws a lot of first pitch strikes. See how aggressive Chaz gets here. He takes one just off the outside corner. Nestor Seha is your home plate umpire today. Winning the middle game two to one. Hit towards shortstop on the ground for Bo Bichette on a couple of hops and he'll make the play for out number one. McCormick grounds out. Visual on that. He has popped one high in the air. Matt Chapman, the third baseman in foul territory, will put it away. Gosman has an easy one, two, three inning, throwing less than 10 pitches, only eight pitches needed in the first. Let off with a home run, follow that up with a third inning home run. Springer tying Jimmy Rollins sixth all time in leadoff home runs with number 46 of his career. Auto catching proper Valdez. Down and in, ball four. Springer draws a walk. Including three and one against the Astros. Chopper towards the middle. Goodrum's going to step on the bag, and that's a double play. Vlad Guerrero Jr. hits into a double play to end the inning, so the leadoff walk is erased. Swing and a miss. He was able to go to that splitter that Blummer mentioned. He picks up his first strikeout. That is his strikeout pitch. One away in the second. Wow, dots him up 97. Euler is probably expecting a splitter there ahead of the count. That stayed firm for a call third strike. Man. Oh, two pitch, and Tucker will send this one into right field for a base hit. Gosman throws a lot of strikes, even when ahead of the count. 69% is second best in baseball since last year. Tucker on the go. The throw will be not in time. Kyle Tucker has stolen his team leading third base of the year. Did got a great ovation in LA. Swing and a miss. There, there is that chase on cue. By far the nastiest pitch in chase rate than any other pitcher in 2022. 0-2 on Alejandro Kirk. Swing and a miss. So Kirk, who rarely strikes out, has struck out at least once in every game in the series. And Fromber Valdez has himself a 1 2 3 inning with a strikeout to finish. But there we go. Those numbers continue to play out as he strikes out Pena. Last four outs have been strikeouts Alvarez, Guriel, Goodrum, and now Pena. Counts always so good. As he gets a four pitch strikeout here, and there is the splitter. Hard to lay off. The Astros are learning, learning it. This afternoon, five strikeouts for Cosman of the last six outs. This ball tapped. Fromber will make the play on one big hop. He'll flip it to Yuli, and Valdez keeps rolling along. Cosman and Valdez off to great starts each. It's Ground ball towards short. Oh, under the glove of Bo Bichette. In the left field. Second error of the series for Bo on the fourth error on the air for the Toronto shortstop. Swing and a miss. Jordan rarely leaves the zone, but there's that splitter that dive down and away from a left-handed hitter. Six strikeouts for Gosman. Swing and a miss. There was that splitter down and away. Almost had slider action to it. And the Astros strike out for the seventh time. A rare day for Yuli with two strikeouts his first two at bat. Good battle here between Fromber and Blatty. This one won by Fromber. Ground ball to Alenmis Diaz. And Valdez has a 1 2 3 inning. Both pitchers in the mid 50s in pitch count through four shutout innings. One hit total. And he just hits into tough luck sometimes. But I think, you know, in talking to Troy Snicker. Oh, man. A ball smoked to center field. Springer on the move. George makes the catch. He was in right center in the four outfield alignment. And he ran that one down in straightaway center field. Well, there's a good example. First time up and the error made by Bo Bichette. This ball grounded into right field for a base hit. Nico Goodrum is on. A hit in the last two games for Nico, getting a chance to start back to back games. Now, a 1 2 pitch to Pena. And Nico off the bag is in trouble and he is out. Omar Lopez immediately points to the Astros' dugout. He feels that Goodrum got back. And a swing and a miss. Splitter comes back to get Pena for strikeout number eight. 
Osman has all of his strikeouts in the last four innings. But not too bad for a guy who has struggled with walks this year as he walks his second of the game. Look, base, base runners for the Blue Jays have been on walks. Santiago Espinal, ground ball to Pena. He will flip it to Goodrum, and Fromber Valdez gets through the fifth inning. First man left on base today after the walk to Matt Chapman. Fromber cruising along in a scoreless game. 88 and 70 the game before against Boston. This ball hit pretty well to right field. That'll send Springer back. Springer to the wall. This ball is off the wall and off George's body towards the line. Chaz is going to get to third. McCormick with a triple with one out here in the sixth inning. Ball skills, strength on strength. Michael puts it in play, and Bichette makes the play. Backhands and throws to first. The Astros did not have the contact play on, so McCormick. And he yeah. shoots one to right field for a base hit. A huge RBI single for a lead Miss Diaz. Astros on the board, 1 0. Diaz, a single to right to score Chaz McCormick. Get the other way. Ground ball towards the hole, but in this shift, Santiago Espinal is there and makes the play on Jordan to end the inning. But a triple by Chaz McCormick, followed by a big two out RBI by Alenmis Diaz, and the Astros have a run. It's 1 0. Sean Casey. Oh, yeah. Agrees through Richmond. Swing and a miss. Bromber Valdez picks up his second strikeout. Bromber gets Capper to start the sixth inning. Oh, he hit him. Got him with a 2-2 pitch. Robert with his hands on his hips. Oh, he's hot at himself for hitting. And you don't want to run yourself out of an inning with 2-3-4 coming up. That ball hit well to right field. Tucker all the way back at the wall. Leaps and gone. Bo Bichette hits the first ball of the day out of the infield. And it's also beyond the outfield wall. As he just cleared the right field fence for a two run home run. He's been taking some good swings off of Fromber Valdez and finally got a pitch out over the plate that he could handle. Talked about the violence of his swing and he got a pitch up and away. They wanted that inside, it looked like with the way Maldi was set up, but off the plate. And Bichette barrels it and pummels it over the fence. Ground ball towards short, backing up is Pena. He'll take his time and make a low throw, but picked by Yuli at first for the final out. Fromber frustrated, but only one hit allowed through six innings. And the Blue Jays made it count. A two run home run is two to one. Tuck's the one guy in this lineup that has looked good against Gosman. How about this ball? Cued down the third baseline, hits the bag. Kyle Tucker off the end of the bat. It just stayed fair down the third baseline and hit the third base bag. Tucker on the go. Pitch is low and safe at second base where the second steal of the day is Kyle Tucker. Ground ball towards the hole. Off the glove of Espinal into center field. That'll be a run for the Astros. Heading to second, Goodrum. Tucker scores. We're tied up at two. Nico Goodrum delivers. And he goes down. That's strikeout number nine for Gosman. Three times he has struck out the Astros shortstop two away. Swing and a miss. Maldi goes down on a 97 mile an hour fastball to end the top half of the seventh inning. Ten strikeouts for Gosman. Two off his career high. But the Astros get a run on a couple of hits in the inning. Osman goes seven innings of two run baseball. Fromber is allowed one run on one hit. That's the, excuse me, two runs on now two hits. Lourdes Gurriel Jr. hits the ball to center field for a base hit. Just the second hit of the game. And there is a ground ball towards the hole. Payne will play the second. Nicely done there. They get the lead runner, Lourdes Gurriel Jr. That was not an easy play for Payne. Would love to get a ground ball hit at somebody. Ground ball towards the hole. Pena will try and backhand. It's off his glove and everybody's safe. Another tough chance for Pena. 
Line drive, base in the left field. Coming on, Alvarez coming around third is going to be Chapman. The throw will be not in time. Blue Jays take a 3-2 to two lead. Santiago Espinal continues to do damage against the Astros this year. Run against Justin Verlander to help give him a no decision. This ball on the ground. Yuli to second for one. Pena the return throw. And Maton covering for the double play. Beautiful double play turn. Yuli Gurriel, Jeremy Pena, Phil Maton to get out of any further damage. With a count of one and two. And strike three called on the outside edge. Baza picks up the corner for his first strikeout, two away. Would have scored on the base hit. There's a ball through the second short hole into the center field. Led Miss Diaz as his second consecutive hit. He's that ball shoots to the left field, and Tapia is there. Hit hard by Alvarez, but it hung up for Tapia to make the play for the final out. Swing and a miss. Neris gets Bichette on strikes. A three pitch strikeout for Hector Neris. And we're going to head to the ninth with the Astros trailing three to two. Tucker drives one down the line in right field. Well hit. Back is Espinal. This ball sticks at the base of the wall. Tucker into second base. He has a double three hit game for Kyle Tucker. Bregman drives one to right field. Back goes George Springer all the way back. Great diving catch against the wall. Tucker will tag and get to third. Springer saved a tie game on a great diving catch, heading straight to the outfield wall. Got him. Ball game over. Blue Jays win another one run game. George Springer, the hero offensively yesterday is the hero defensively today. Blue Jays winning the season series against the Astros, four games to two. They win the weekend series two games to one. All four of their wins this year have been one-run wins. And the Blue Jays have now gone seven series undefeated to start the year. They are 6-0-1. That's only been done one other time in Blue Jays history, and that's 1992 when they won a World Series.